All right, all right, we back, we back, man. Hope everybody having an amazing day. You new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. We gonna get right into this one, man. This is Bill Burr, white versus black athletes and Hitler. Now, what I did say on the last Bill Burr I did, I said, he seemed like he touched these topics people are afraid to touch. A lot of people in the comments say, yeah. Some people said, nah, but I already see this one's gonna be a sticky one. Let's see what he's talking about. People in the stands, I mean, that's, that's just like what's entertainment for me now, you know? I like that Jimmy the Greek moment that happens in sports, you know? Like once every four or five years, you know that? Like some 50, 55 year old white dude tries to explain why black people are kicking the shit out of white people in practically every major sport, you know? And it always goes down the same way, right? There's always like three white dudes and the one white dude in the middle, he's always like the guy with like the theory. You know, he's always, like, you know, it seems these, uh, these African-American athletes, they, uh, they seem to have this, uh, this quick twitch uh, muscle fire, you know, there's a uh, slow twitch and there's uh, this quick twitch and the second the dude says that like the other two white dudes start like sliding out of frame like okay, this guy's getting fired <laughs> So what I'm gonna say is this He's funny man. I, I I'm about ready to say he's top three top three to me. I gotta throw Martin in there Dave Chappelle too I think he's up there with him. I don't know the order, but y'all let me know. Let's keep it going Part of this highlight nice knowing your neck. Keep that seat warm, right? <laughs> And the dude in the middle, he's just like hell bent on getting fired. You know, he's just, he starts like bringing up slavery. And evidently they were reading the strongest man with the strongest woman and that quick twitch. <laughs> literally 20 minutes later, that dude's on TV, he's like fired, right? He's crying, his family's standing there. He's got like a box of shit from his desk with like an Emmy sticking out. He's like, I don't know what I said. I was just talking about the quick twitch and the slow twitch. I wasn't just trying to make a point. No, I love that. I love seeing people mess up their careers like that. <laughs> it's just funny to me. Plus, I gotta admit, as a white dude, on some level, I have to believe in that theory, because it's like, are white dudes that bad at basketball? Oh, I can't man. even watch the NBA anymore, man. It's like every highlight, the white dude's like that, the black dude, I think it's nuts in his face. <laughs> ah! I'm just sitting at home like, Yo, But look, Luca right now is, Luca killing it, man. Luca representing right now. Luca probably, to me, Luca's gonna be one of the best ball players ever. I'm not even gonna lie. Remember I said that, Luca. Love of God, tackle the guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, get out of the way. Do you ever get tired of those two nuts flying over your head? <laughs> you know you're gonna be on Sports Center. Just get out of the way. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, there's got to be something to that theory. I saw this oh. show one time on Runaway Slaves. It was one of the most amazing programs I've ever seen in my life. Dude, when you ran away as a slave, you just didn't run to the end of the driveway and be like, ah, eh, fuck that job, just start walking down the street. <laughs> Dude, you had to, like, run through whole states. There's dogs chasing you, you're hurtling shit, and you're swimming. Those were the first fucking triathletes. <laughs> Yo, this dude is wild. This dude is wild, man. I'm not going to lie. Yo, I feel like Bill Burr, he probably grew up in, like, a black neighborhood, too, though, because he, he's real good when it comes to, like, you know, race conversations and talking about stuff like that. And there was nobody helping him out. There was no dude on the side of the road, like, come on, man. Or, or it was a real mix. It was a real mixed crowd. Like, he definitely did, because I, I listened to him talk about going to see a girl in Harlem on another one. Y'all definitely check that video out. And that was so on point, you know, especially me being from New York. I, I was like, cause I didn't even plan on covering Bill Burr like that. I just was doing that one. And ever since then, it's like, I gotta keep doing him, man. He, he's just dope. And two more states, you're in Ohio. Suck it up. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm over here talking. Let me Women. rewind it back. Those were the first fucking triathletes. <laughs> and there was nobody helping him out. There was no dude on the side of the road like, come on, man. Two more <laughs> states, you're in Ohio. Suck it up. You're looking good. Looking good. <laughs> Dude, you are on your own. Is it any wonder? 250, 300 years of that shit, and then I'm gonna D you up in gym class? It ain't happening. <laughs> I come from hundreds of years of alcoholics. I got like half a liver, you know what I mean? It's just. <laughs> <laughs> This you know what's funny to me about that stuff? You can't even like, you know, I obviously know that, that theory is crazy, but it's just like, you can't even bring up how well black people do, are doing in sports. Everybody gets all weird about it, which I don't understand because it's like a compliment, you know? Like, feel how weird it is right now. You know, I just brought that shit up. <laughs> I'm saying something good, right? Oh, I, said, I saw a coach get in trouble for that shit. Like, his team was like 0-6 or something. They just couldn't win. And every week the press was just getting on him more and more and more, right? And the dude, he was just like flustered. He had like a moment of honesty. They were like, why can't you guys win a game? He's like, oh, you know, 
I don't know, the offense isn't getting it done, you know, defense, you know, they're too slow and they just run out. Tell me, we gotta get some more black guys on this team. And, I'm telling you, <laughs> and immediately, everyone's like, what? 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 everyone started freaking out like they had no idea what this dude was talking about. Yo, do people ever take offense to things he's saying? Because it's, it's so fun. I can't. I would be upset if I seen like I, if I was watching this and I seen people in the crowd getting upset at something they say everything he say is just so like you can tell it come from a good space and it's humorous but it's still real at the same time so that's what I like about him like he his delivery is really dope you know what I mean he know how to because two people can say the same thing and one person you can look at like and then another person you can look at like yo I get it you know it's like, like are you watching Sports Center? Or do you see the Olympics? Like, I love the 100 meter dash, right? There's always, there's always like, like, like nine black dudes and that, that one token white guy in like lane eight. <laughs> I'm just sitting there going, come on, man, one time. Just one time, just, just win the bronze, just do what you gotta do. And the white dude always stays with him to like the first turn, then he like fucking blows out his hand. <laughs> Those other eight black dudes are like. Good. Where's that white dude the next Olympics? He's like up in the broadcast booth, his career's over. He's, where, he's like a commentator. Yeah, it's gonna be a great race. Still can't feel my fucking toes, but oh, I'm telling man. you. No, I don't get it. It's like a compliment. We're saying you, you, you're fast. That's a good thing, right? People start all freaking out. Oh, you're acting like that's all we can do. You're saying we can't be scientists. No, we're not. All we're saying is if there was a race through the microscopes, you fuckers would win. <laughs> we're just saying that you're fast. You get there first. Your lab coat would be flapping in the wind. I'd get there like three minutes later all cramped up. Like, what are you looking at, bacteria? No, you go first. You just go first. Oh, Jesus man. Christ. That was a Volvo. The guy ran by a Volvo in street shoes. I've never seen that before in my life. No, I, I get into those arguments all the time. All the time. Friends of mine will be like, well, how come any time a black athlete does something, they say it's an athletic move. Any time a white athlete does it, they say it's an intelligent move. And it's like, well, f fair enough, man. It just, just depends on what you're doing. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, if you read a defense, white or black, that's an intelligent move, right? But if yeah, definitely, definitely. I used to be bad at reading defenses too when I played ball. You know, if you read a defense, white or black, that's an intelligent move, right? But if you take off from the foul line, jump over <laughs> nine other dudes and throw the shit down, those other nine guys aren't standing there like, fuck, why didn't I think of that shit? <laughs> Here I am dribbling around, guys. I think that's some superhero shit. shit. Like a cake flapping in the wind with a big S on your chest. <laughs> that's what I'm the telling white you, man, did. that's the funny thing about Hitler. <laughs> Just let me finish. Let, let me work my way. See, he, he know how to do it, man. You know who's another one? I, I cannot think of her name. She's from Boston. Sarah Silverman. I got to start... I know she's wild, like she just touches on what it, she says the wildest stuff, but let's keep it going. Let me work my way through this idea. No, that's my, my favorite, my favorite sports clip is that Jesse Owens shit. I just love it because their whole angle was fucked up. He made Hitler leave in like the third quarter, right? He's putting down his number one finger, just fucking walking out of the stadium. Jesus Christ. Their whole thing was like, we are going to create a superior race. It's like, dude, I think we accidentally already did that. Yeah, we sent a select group of people to the gym every day for a couple hundred years. It's paying dividends. They're fucking dunking on us every day. <laughs> Dude, how quiet was that limo ride home with Hitler? You know what I'm saying? Wait, what? I'm, I'm, I'm a lost. What happened? I don't, I don't want to say Hitler has something to do with the Olympics. You know he was talking crazy shit when they were on the way there. They were all amped up. They are going to dominate Sieg Heil. Just going off. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know about that. That whole ride home, they're just sitting there all quiet. You're sitting next to an even angrier than usual Adolf Hitler. Oh, trying man. to make some sort of small talk like, eh. Yeah, nah, that, I, I don't know that one. I'm not, I'm not familiar with what happened with uh, Hitler. That's crazy. But, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, that was another good Bill Burr one, man. Y'all definitely let me know some more dope ones in the comments that y'all want to hear. Let me get some more comedians too. I gotta get some. I need. I need some competition for Bill Burr, man. I need to see who who we can have him go up against. So y'all, let me know some clips is dope to cover. 
And yeah, I'm going to see y'all on the next one, all right? Peace.